time now to deal with that story we mentioned earlier this morning. We mentioned that uh, there will be no live viewing of the Soka Monarch. I know a lot of y'all got your arms up this morning, right? Uh, my pitcher is not the one to target. <laughs> my next guest is. <laughs> but he's doing it because they're doing it for a good reason. Uh, I tell you what, let's bring him here and, and, and let him, in, 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 you know, defend himself, as it were. Or rather, let you know how he's trying to lift the standard of this. I'm talking about Peter School. Peter School is the chairman of the Caribbean Prestige Foundation. They have hosted the uh, show for more than 20 years. A very good morning to you, Peter. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, there you go. I got you on this microphone. There you go. Good morning. Welcome. Morning, morning. 24 years, actually. 24 years. Not 20, but 24 yeah. years. A long time. 2016 will be 24 years. Mm, mm, mm. Well, first of all, thank you for joining us at 107.7. Uh, folks, get ready every Carnival Friday for their staple. Their staple is going to be the Soka Monarch. A lot of them come on down to actually look the show in person, but many of them stay at home and ex expect to see it live. That's great. We need more to come down All right. to the show. Uh, tell us why you decided to scrap the idea of, of live streaming, live TV broadcasting. Of One this is rather. to encourage more people to come to the venue mm -hmm. to, to experience it. Soka Monarch is an experience. Yes. You really need to be the venue to experience it. Two, the show is not designed for TV. There's a lot of gaps and props and, and between the performances. And as an international product, even I consider Trudan to be able to TV international. Yes. It's not made for TV. You know, I, I came down uh, um, this year and, uh, and, and made it my business to come on down to the Soka Monarch competition. And I, I was really uh, encouraged uh, when I saw some of the statements you made and some of the reasons why you're not doing this streaming. Because one of the things you can do is you can actually make a phone call, sit down, play some cards, and hang out in between performances. Mm -hmm. and, and not only is that not TV ready, it interferes with the it, with the energy and the real talent that is there on stage because you lose your rhythm. Yeah. And, and and a show is a show, all right. It is not something that you have happened. So I'm really happy to hear that's one of the reasons. But by by, by taking it instead of shortening the gaps with some tighter production down there, you decide the best way to do this instead is to record and play it in a delayed broadcast. Um, it's, yeah, yeah. The delay is because now we can package. A proper show. I see. With interviews and stories and you know, like like our, our show is really packaged. Right, right. For pay per view. For pay per view. Ah, pay per view. I, Tell yeah. us about that pay per view. Yes. The limited time I have to do a pay per view anywhere in the world is three hours. Mm -hmm. And so come on, I normally will run three, four hours because of all the gaps and in, mm -hmm. in between the event. Now, now we can package your a show for mm -hmm. TV. Mm -hmm. Right? Which will be TV friendly and which you no gaps, which you can sit on with your family on Saturday night or on pay per view anytime for for the next six months and watch it. And and, and this is really um, in, in a positive way because it's not only for the pay per view and the money you, your revenue you can derive from that. What you're trying to do is make this mainstream, and in order to make it mainstream, the presentation has to be appealing when it, it goes to. on. Is yeah, it? it has to. I mean, we we're trying to go mainstream for the last. Since I know myself, mm. you know, and you know, we have been, you know, meeting obstacles. So we we have been for the last two years we have been experimenting, mm -hmm. putting it on cable, which is like Dish Network, Comcast, for mainstream United States to watch and Canada. Mm -hmm. But the, the issue is the quality of the show in terms of the production. It's not getting up to international standards. So it has not generated the interest you expect no, that something of, of, of this of, of this. No, we, you will watch it for the first 10 minutes and then you have a five minute gap. What mm. do you do? Turn off and go on to something else. Very optimistic. It's not five minutes. It used to be way more than that. <laughs> well, yes. Peter, Peter Schoon, the chairman of the Caribbean Prestige Foundation, is the voice you're hearing this morning on the morning show. We're talking about the Soka Monarch that will no longer be carried across live TV, but there are also some other components in here. In the effort to make it appealing for pay-per-view and also to move it mainstream, you are scrapping two categories. Tell us about that. Well, Soka is Soka. Yes. The difference between power and groovy is that one beat. From 35 to 36 beats per minute. <laughs> and it's, it's time. We, we used it in the early days to develop the slower music. Mm -hmm. But it has come of age and it's time to, hmm. to bring all back to one into one fold. So the, the consideration here is that there is not much of a difference mm -hmm. or that one was more of a drag on the production. Uh, Just let me be both. very clear. Both. both. One a drag and one is not much difference. 
there's no difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Over the years, there's been ambiguity between some songs that won um, power that people considered groovy. Uh -huh. Right? Because all the artists do is speed up the music and, and it's a power song. So if you're talking about one big difference, in the moment, what, what's the deal? What's the deal? Yeah. All right. So let us understand this. Now that you, you you're going to you're going to record it, you're going to package it, and folks can see the very next day is what next you're saying. Next night, yeah. The next night they can they can do their paper view thing and get it. Yes. Will it will and, it be and on also be on CNC three? I yeah. see. So it will be available, will for, be local available for local consumption. I see. And but then you will have the package that it can be um, run at different times. Yes. Uh, on the international scale. Yeah. There are also some other innovations that you're mentioning this year, uh, and, and I like this because you're not taking. You're looking to enhance it. You're looking to do some things after Carnival. Tell us about that. Yeah. Training and development. CPF was developed as a non-profit organization for the de development of the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. And we intend to continue doing training and development throughout the year with assistance from the government and private enterprise mm -hmm. so that we can get these artists mainstream, get them to know the business of music, how to write a proper song, yes. structured properly, um, um, among other stuff. Because you've got a lot of entertainers coming up with really good ideas, but because the technology a lot allow folks to do things at home, they are they are coming up with their you know their own niche. But at the same time, not all the time is it following conforming to structure. That's what we're saying. Right. Here. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And, and and as far as getting uh, the entertainers very uh, in a very clear understanding of what it takes to become a successful artist, you're gonna have that kind of training for them. Yeah, too. we started. I mean, at the mm -hmm. artist forum, we brought La Lloyd Stanbury, mm -hmm. uh, renowned um, professional in the industry to lecture on the business mm. of music and they learned a lot you know uh, in addition to um, seeing how to make it commercially viable internationally and commercially appealing are you happy with the quality of, 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 of the, the progress of the me, me, music as a, as a consequence of these kind of contests these competitions well yes and no I mean mm. there, there are drawbacks mm. to it but I mean we have to trudge along with it and keep on improving it you know mm -hmm. I don't make the music. The artists make the music. Right, so the only the points mm -hmm. we we can improve it is to improve their their quality. Mm -hmm. you know, educate them more. Mm -hmm. So uh, those who are coming into um, who are coming down for the a uh, lot of folks I know who listen to the morning show are coming in, in from international to come in and, and, and enjoy this. They are going to see the same lag if they if they go to the show. Uh, well, uh, we know, live we are or? trying our best to tighten the show mm -hmm. as much as possible. One, we've cut the numbers down to 15. Mm. 15 from judges picking, but the show won't have more than 18 people in it, which will be two coming back in via um, Wildcard and one, the normal breakout artist that we are doing, which is developing finally. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's going to be one change for this year. Well, I think it's, it's 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 all for the good because if you make this uh, commercially viable, it works in it's consistent with the idea of making it mainstream. Mm -hmm. Mainstream means acceptance overall. For people overall. to accept something, they must find it appealing sufficient that they can look at it. And and, and and you're buying a whole new market you're bringing in and by natural extension, bringing a lot more people back home mm -hmm. and, and to visit for the first time. Yeah, and, and if, I mean, it's Trinidad music. We are promoting Trinidad and Tobago. They yes. are ambassadors. If we could get 1% of the mm -hmm. United States to lock into this, <laughs> we, we have achieved... Yeah, yeah, you know, phenomenal. That's that's one percent of three hundred and fifty million people. I mean, point five percent. We have achieved. Yeah, yeah, you have achieved a great goal. A great, yeah. Well, I like where you're going, uh, Chairman of um, uh, uh, Chairman Peter Schoon, uh, coming into us of uh, Caribbean Prestige Foundation. Thank you so much for taking the time to drop in with us this morning. We have you on a busy morning today. <laughs> yes, very busy. All right. Early Any final time. message you want to give out to the entertainers who, uh, yeah, who are just coming in this year? Yeah, just want to encourage the. We have a competition, the NSFM, which is the junior competition. Mm -hmm. We are encouraging senior soccer artists to adopt junior soccer artists so that we can help develop these young artists. The young artists are the future. Mm -hmm. you know, so we really need to, to harness them from now. Well, that's a good thing. Um, encourage the, the, the older guys to, to, to work with the younger folks the younger and, and help in the transition because that's always the issue, the issue of a transition, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the okay. time to be with us this morning, Peter. Thanks. Very Truly much. appreciate it.